What's up YouTube? Before we get into today's video, are you struggling to grow your brand on social media? Are you consistently posting content without seeing any sales or results? Then you need to grab a free, yes, free copy of my social media growth ebook, the five keys that took my brand, Sailor's Lifestyle, from zero to 500,000 followers in less than one year. Grab a copy of that ebook, it'll change your life, change your game for social media. Click that first link in the description to join my SMS list, and then you will receive a link to that free ebook. Plus, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me to take your brand to the next level, there will also be a link for you to take a survey to see if you qualify for my mentorship program. Now, let's get into the video. YouTube, y'all see the title of the video. Stop going so hard in your business. <laughs> and I, I laugh when I'm saying that, but I'm about to break down for you guys. What do I mean, stop going so hard in your business? We live in a culture today that's very success oriented, which is good. We should be striving to become the best versions of ourselves. We should be striving to have great businesses. We should be striving to be great. And we live in a generation, I like to call it microwave culture. We like everything fast, we like everything now. And so while it's good, so, oh my gosh. My bad, I just hit my dream car, y'all. Hey, that's a sign, man. I'm out here recording for y'all, providing value to y'all, and I see my dream car. So, with that being said, let's get back to the video. We live in a generation, while it's good that we're success-oriented, we want to be great, we want to have impact on other people, we have a microwave culture. And what I mean by that, with a microwave, you put something in, let's say you put, I don't know, a pizza, I don't know, whatever you put in the microwave. We put something in the microwave that usually would take about, let's say 20 minutes in the oven to bake. The microwave gets it done for you in 20 seconds. And so we live in a microwave culture. We expect things to happen so quick that maybe in the past, in past generations, it may have taken time, it may have taken a few years, a few decades to achieve a goal where now it's possible to achieve that same goal in less than a year. And so we see our favorite entrepreneurs and our favorite influencers on social media doing their thing in business and doing these big things in a fast amount of time. And we think that we're supposed to do everything in the same time frame. But it's important to realize that success comes not on a predetermined time clock, but success comes when you're ready for it. Success is not a product of what you do. Success is not something that you pursue. Success is something that you attract based on who you're becoming. So in saying that, with the title of this video being, stop going so hard. Stop going hard in your business. What I mean by that, I say all this to say, relax, relax. Yes, I know you want to become a millionaire before you're 19, whatever. Yes, I know you want to build generational wealth in your family. Do you even know what that means? Generational wealth It's in the title, generations. Generational wealth, it takes time. And generational wealth is more than just money. Generational wealth is ideas you pass down to your family. Generational wealth is the mindset, the wealth mindset. But that's another video for a whole nother day. It takes time, it takes years, it takes decades to truly be successful. You don't wanna have balloon success. You don't want to start a business and blows up super fast, but now you're not ready to handle it. Success can be a curse. Believe it or not, success can be a curse because if you're being successful so fast and you're not ready to handle it, then you're not ready to handle it and you're gonna fail. So, calm down, take your time. I hope y'all can see me. God, I think the sun was behind me, but hey, take your time. 
say, like I said, success comes when you're ready for it. Success is not something you pursue. Success is something that you attract based on who you are becoming. So if you want to be successful, become a person of success. And success is not money. Success is not fame. Success is not even influence. Success is not a number of followers you have on social media, but success. Success is not anything that anybody else may think about you. But success is effectively doing the thing that God created you to do here on this earth. And so if he has created you, he's called you to be an entrepreneur in business, to make millions, to donate to other people, to build a business that's gonna impact people, then do that to the fullest extent. And when you become that person of success, when you become that person who has that mindset that you wanna impact other people, then you'll be successful because success is not a dollar amount. But when you seek first the kingdom of God, as Matthew 6 verse 33 says, when you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, when you're seeking to impact other people through your business, through your finances, through your brand, then everything else will be added to you. So become a person of success. Don't chase success, attract success to you. And everything that comes along with success, the money, the influence, the connections, the opportunities will come to you automatically. We are focused on providing you value to other people. So take your time. Life is a journey. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. So have fun with the process. Enjoy the process. Trust the process. All things work together in due time when you are ready for it. So you may be in a season where you've been at this for a few months. You've been at this for a few years. And you may think that it's not working out. Just keep going. Check your motives. See if this is really what you want to do. Are you just in this for the money? Are you just in this because it's cool to be an entrepreneur? Or are you in this because you have a bigger vision of mine, a bigger goal of mine to impact other people? What's your end goal? What's your ultimate destination? Enjoy the journey. Trust the journey. Trust the process because it's going to build you into that person of success. The adversities, the trials, the tribulations you may go through are helping you become that person of success. So you gotta enjoy every moment of it. Don't try to rush through a season. You may be going through a season of adversity. It's human nature to wanna get out of the season. But it's important to maximize the season because the season has a reason. The season has a reason. There's a reason why you're in this season right now. Or if you're not in this season now, I'm sorry to say, but there will be a season coming up because life is about seasons. It's about highs and lows. But you guys stay mentally tough through every season and know even when you're in a bad season, it's working for your good. When you have that definite purpose to impact other people. And if you're in a down season right now, there's an up season coming soon. There's no doubt about that. That's the way the world works. That's the way life works. So keep being persistent. With persistence will come success. So calm down. Take your time. You're going to get to your goal when you're ready you may think, oh, if I don't make it now, I never will. Or I got to take care of my mom. I got to make it for my family. Trust me, it's going to happen. It may not happen when you want it to happen, but it will happen when it needs to happen. Life is spiritual. Life is unexpected. Life takes turns that we don't see why or we don't see how. But everything works in due time for the right reasons when you're walking in that definite purpose that God has called you to and in this case if it's business entrepreneurship keep going in your business even if you say oh I need to make 10k this month do you really need to make 10k this month so in wrapping up this video trust the process enjoy the process just have fun when you stress too much in this life, you miss out on so many great experiences. When you're so focused on a destination, when you're so, oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. When you're so focused on a destination, when you're so focused on the end goal, when you're so focused on a dollar amount that you can't even enjoy the journey, then you're missing the point. So calm down. You know you're going to make it. So 
why stress about it? Everything happens in due time when you're ready for it. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more entrepreneurship, finance, mindset, faith-based personal development content. Eddie Scott checking out. I'm out of here. If you want one-on-one -on -one mentorship for your brand, whether you got a clothing brand, e-commerce store, hit that link in the description. It'll take you through a little quiz, let you know if you'll be a good fit for one of my programs. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Let's keep turning up. Everything happens when we're ready for it. Let's go.